Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. I'm so happy to have you here today. Today we're decorating the entryway of my home using the same beautiful warm fall vibe. So um, we're going to decorate, start off decorating this table. You guys remember this was a table that I was gifted from my mom and I painted it black. It was a beautiful um, red kind of cherry color but I wanted it black and you know, black and gold are like my um, permanent colors that I kind of use and intermix throughout my decor but this um, table really did what it needed to do for this entryway and I knew I wanted a, a round table here and I just did not know how it was going to fit but it fits beautifully so we're going to use the same color palette that we used in the living room area and we're gonna um, bring in a little bit of black here we're gonna have that beautiful burgundy color and we're also going to mix in the green so watch me as i style this area and then i'll come back and tell you about where items were purchased from Now I know you guys remember these um, leaves here. These were from Joann's and I purchased them off season earlier this year, earlier in the spring actually. And they were so beautiful and vibrant that I had to have them. And I instantly began to think about what my color palette for the spring was going to be. And this beautiful Bordeaux color just really spoke volumes to me. And I love how it looks in this black face. If you guys remember a couple of months ago, we did a pre-fall styling. And I used this same vase with these floral picks and I simply loved it. If you missed that video and I give you two or three different inspirations um, that I was considering and that you could possibly consider for the fall, I'm going to link that in the iCard above. I'm using these books that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I simply went through the Dollar Tree in their book section and just took the jackets off of the books to see what the hardcover looked like and if it was black or neutral color I picked it up. So um, I really like the black and the gray. I think it gives it a little bit of contrast to this area. So recently I took a trip into Target and looking at the Studio McGee items, I fell in love with a hurricane 
um, candle holder. It was very modern and y'all know my that's my aesthetic and I just had to get it and it was only $20. Now, this candle holder, it was very popular obviously because they were all gone because when I decided that I wanted another one, I could not find them. But it's so cute. It has the base of the candle and then it has the um, the taper part that you sit the candle in and then you put the globe on top of it. This is so genius. It is, and I loved it also because it is clear. I originally thought that it was like a light amber color but when I realized that it was actually clear and that the glass kind of took on the colors of whatever it was near, I loved it because you know in the fall I use a lot of glass decor, clear glass decor, and this fit into that styling very easily and it can transition from fall until Christmas. Now these beads are some that I picked up from Amazon. They were very inexpensive when I bought them. I think they were like $6. Uh, the things that I can link um, below, I will. And if I can find something similar, I will link those below as well. This metal leaf was one that I picked up from Ross Stores. Loved it. I think I picked it up last year and it was very inexpensive, about $6. So you see I have the black, I have the gold, we have the glass, and now we need to add some green elements here. So I went into my arsenal and I picked up two of these um, moss balls here. Three could actually go on here, but I did not want to hide the gold tray, so I opted to just use two, and I love it. It brings um, some natural textures in this space, and that's it. This space is done. I love everything about it. You know, you have to go and touch up places and kind of rearrange things a little bit but I think this is very welcoming and wait until you see how it looks once the candle is lit. So I decided that since I was on the roll, I would go ahead and decorate this um, buffet area in the entryway hall. And so of course I had to clean it up because you know I love shiny furniture. So we're going to oil her down, oil the, the top of the buffet down. And then I'm going to go ahead and decorate. So what I wanted to do here, I did not want to do a lot because these are just the foundational pieces that I am placing down and for the early fall and then later on in the season we will add our pumpkins and different um, more like theme fall decor but I wanted to stay true to my style I wanted it to uh, remain colorful I wanted to use the colors that I'm using in my color palette and I wanted it to be very modern so um, now that my buffet is clean, we're going to go ahead and add this beautiful vase. And it's one that I picked up a couple of months ago in the spring, and it was from the ReStore. I love the shape of this um, decorative piece. It can be a vase. You can put flowers in here. You see, I... I've had moss in here, but what I want to do is I'm gonna add the moss balls. And just to give this um, decorative 
they some height so the balls can sit on top and you have the moss at the bottom and that's it that's all I want to do over in this space and then I'm also going to add a little bit more um, like texture and height and you'll see we're going to add some books you know you can find books all over my house um, not necessarily the home decor books um, like the Vogue and you know those types of things because I I wouldn't look through those and so I would rather spend my money on books that I know that I'm not going to that I'm actually going to use so these are just once again books that I found that I like the hardcover I add this very neutral colored candle holder with the green candle as well as um, another decorative gold piece and I think this space is done it needs nothing else and because we're working in a very tight space I think I have lighting here I have something um, that's um, colorful in the candles and I have something that's natural as the mothballs Sometimes I wonder if it's meant to be At this point I feel I got a history With how I fall to hard with boys initially all right guys so i hope you all enjoyed today's video in my fall entryway styling once again we took it back to the basics i use items that i already had mostly the only thing new that is in this styling is the target candle holder um but everything else are things that i had in my arsenal i hope i inspired you let me know have you started decorating your home for the fall or are you waiting later Later on in the season I know it seems like everything is being rushed but we are here to inspire you and what with your continued support you guys definitely continue to inspire us as well so if you are new to my channel hi I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house if you like what you've seen go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads you can also check me out on all of my social medias facebook instagram tiktok all of those i can be found at Wani's house all right guys so i'm about to go but before i do you know what i always say the next time you're in town you can always stop by Wani's house and i'll see you in the next video bye-bye